love the warmness. So if the, if the night is like a 60, 50, they going to try to go inside? Most, most, in, in the case of insects, it doesn't affect them. In the case of rodents, it does because they're warm blood. Mm. The temperature, what the temperature does for roaches, if it gets a drop, which we need it, we don't have it. This is the problem we have with the growth of American cockroach in South Florida is that our, our, our temperature is continually rising. When was the last time that it was 35 degrees or 50 degrees for a long period of time? It's two or three days. The eggs can't incubate above like 60 degrees. So uh, below that, I'm sorry. So if it's 60, 70 all the time, 80s, I mean, how many times do you, it's, it's, it's Christmas and it's 80 degrees outside. So they, 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 there is no overwintering of pests here. They're breeding all year long. Gotcha. And so what happens is the temperatures only affect the breeding. It brings it down because the eggs can't incubate. They need a certain temperature to incubate. And then they, if it drops too low, they'll lay the eggs. They'll have their relationship and they'll do their thing, but the eggs won't incubate. Their eggs are, are, are sterile. And, but we, so that's why you see the problem all year round where we didn't see it 10 years ago. Thank you.